Hello, welcome back to me. Me is about motivation, education and engaging. And it's also meant for people from our communities, people like you and I, that we want to better ourselves. We want to think about things that impact positively on others, on our children, on our families, in the work we do, in, uh, in the way we relate to one another. So today I'll be uh, looking at another topic uh, about our self-image. How do we see ourselves? When we talk about self-image, the, the first thing that comes to mind, might be, you might think is, oh, it's about my appearance. But it's not necessarily about your appearance. It's about how you see yourself mentally, emotionally, physically. They all come together in be building your self-image. So self-image is what you see and what you see stems from how you think. So when I say how you see yourself, it's, hmm, I see myself happy. I see myself good looking. I see myself, you know, making an impact. But unfortunately, not everybody has a good self-image. Why do you think that some people wake up in the morning and they dress up, they hardly, and I mean it, they hardly look into the mirror. They hardly look at themselves in the mirror. And if they do look at themselves in the mirror, it's a very quick one. It's a brief one. Have you actually thought about looking at yourself and said, hmm, girl, you look good. Hmm, see, can you see this good person? Do you see how she looks? Have you actually looked in the mirror and stayed there and said something to yourself? Your self-image also means that even when you're going for an interview or you're going for a presentation, you look in the mirror and you talk about, you look at yourself and you talk to yourself. One of the things I've noticed at, um, you know, re quite recently is because a lot of young people, they are so involved in social media, it has had an adverse effect on them. And I can tell you this because I've seen it, I've spoken to young people and I'm still speaking to young people. Some young people, because of what they see on social media, they don't believe in themselves anymore. They don't even think they look that good anymore. Why do you think some young people, they stop eating or they, the, or they eat wrong or they eat, overeat or they uh, eat less or they don't even eat at all? I've met um, a young lady recently and she said, Oh, okay. She watched the program on, so she said, uh, on Snapchat and she said, that's the reason why I am too particular about my face because you can either overdo it or not do it at all. So she's always about looking at her face or if there's a pimple there, there's a spot there she's got to do. And she's become so obsessive with it. I met another young person and, she, and I think it's about um, singing and she said, I don't want to hear myself sing. I don't know. Although she did it, but she doesn't want to listen to herself. And that has a lot to do with how, how much she believes it or how much she sees it. Or does she really want people to like her or not like her? So these are, there's so many things that have to do with self-image. And one of the things I want to say at this point is that your self-image, our self-image is developed earlier on in life. It might be through our experiences, experiences in such a way that have left a bitter pill, a bitter taste in the mouth, experiences of being abused as a child, being bullied as a child. I've seen situations whereby your, uh, people have grown up in polygamous homes, you know, uh, homes whereby there are more than three wives and there are a lot of half and step brothers and sisters and there's competition going on and there is so much that the, um, the, the other one, one child was is being bullied or is being spoken at in such a way that she doesn't believe in herself anymore. There was a time that I've seen it happen whereby back in Africa um, um, uh, this is just a story about somebody I know she she wanted to read, uh, go to go to university, and she tried to 
do her exams and she still couldn't get through. She studied and studied. And then the, uh, the aunt came to the house and told her dad that it's not compulsory that she needs to go to school. She can just do, why, why doesn't she just go and do cleaning or she can go to a, um, a polytechnic or something. She, that, what she, the aunt was trying to say there that even though she meant well to say, oh, it's not everything about university, but she was actually making this young lady believe less in herself because she had failed way before. I believe that even if you failed before, you could at least try. It depends on what your passion is, what your dream is. But I'm saying that this is an experience as this young girl had that she actually didn't believe she could actually do it. So she just did anything. Actually, she just left school completely, started work, said, well, school's not for me. And that was because of what somebody told her. So she looked at herself that, you know what, I'm dull. I don't know how to study. So she, that, was an, that was a bad experience. People have had experience of, of abuse in the home from a husband or even from a wife. And they've been abused, they've been spoken at, abused. And when somebody keeps on telling you something again and again, you're useless. You can never have friends. You can never make it. You tend to believe it. And that's why I said that it starts right from early on. And that's why I want to encourage parents. If you're a parent out there, you need to start, even if you're seeing something that is not really nice about your child, your daughter, your son, encourage them. Keep on saying you can do it. Keep on building them up. I've always said that the first seven to 10 years of a child's life, those are the years that are crucial for molding for building that child. So you need to keep on affirming. You, that child needs to be affirmed because if the child is not affirmed, he's, he or she is gonna like, not going to want to do anything. So self-image is important. As you see yourself, it's going to determine how you act. And as you act, other people will see you and respond to you. And as they respond to you, you feel more confident. So let's, I want you to go home or if you're at home at the moment, look in the mirror and be proud of who you are and keep on affirming who you are. I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm, you know, I can do this. And you know what? You can make it. So please keep on subscribing, like and share. And we'll talk about something else next time. Keep being motivated. Keep engaging and keep being empowered. Thank you.